That's Jess. See you later. Welcome to episode two. If you missed episode one, go check it out. Now we are on Jess's run. Please enjoy. Jess, good luck. All right, Jess just left. I've been chasing the Jess for the past two hours. He's going to be hard because he walks very fast. Like, I literally two times had to be like, Jess, I cannot walk that fast without breaking it. He's very tall. He's very tall. I, I just took off from the restaurant. It's raining, which really like sucks. Like it's a lot less pleasant to like vlog and run around in the rain, but I'm still psyched. Heading to, I actually forget the name of it, but I just know it's that way. It's like that weird one in the middle of the river. My phone's getting wet. Jesus, this is, I wish it would stop raining. All right. But he can walk way faster, I think. No, he can't run faster, but he can walk way faster. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we have to just get in a position to see him, right? Yes. Yeah. That's what you guys did. Like, if you're on a street where you can see him. But I just mean, like, we were watching you, and, like, we, because you have things to do and you're thinking about stuff, yeah. we're catching up to you unless sure, yeah. you're, like, scooting. So we could tell when you were scooting because we're just getting it the whole time. I think we're going to have a tougher time getting it just, even just in walking. Yes. Yeah. Because he really blitz it. I realized I forgot to generate my task, so I just did. It's only been like a few minutes since I started, but I have to cheers a stranger at a bar. What sucks. I don't know if I'm gonna do it before or after I go to my first location. If I find a bar, I will. It's raining so hard, damn it. It is raining like crazy. This is gonna be wild. Jess just texted something. All right, so I stopped to get my task which is to cheers a stranger this guy won't charge my car unless I buy two drinks so I got two drinks bros bros cheers <laughs> cheers cheers me yeah, I don't think he's gonna drink it but that counts um, I, it's like so rainy out here like I it's insane I'm already belly aching in the chat which is not to be that's not unexpected I belly ache all right I'm never gonna see you guys in like an hour and a half so Hope you're enjoying the rain too. All right, I am at the park. And I have 30 seconds, here's the park. It's actually where we just caught Ryan. It was his last location, it's my first location. It's very wet. That's 30 seconds. All right. Oh, brutal. Uh, this blows out. We see Jess is by the river. We're gonna go to the river so we get clear visibility. That seems to have helped watching Jess last time. Yeah. And then we, hopefully we get an eye on him and we get, get a little bit of running going. Uh, it's wet. It's really wet. We're closing distance. He's going further that way yeah, than no. I would expect. I think, Brian, I think we gotta be wary that he's trying to pull us across to the north side of the river. I don't think we need to cross. I'm saying he either comes back that way or he crosses this way. Yeah, yeah, Those are only two options. I know, so I'm saying- I'm So saying we're, this is perfect. not cross. We, I agree. We cannot take the bait. I agree. We cannot do like little fish taking the bait. I agree, but let's see if we can see him at some point. All right, he doubled back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he doubled back on the riverside. So we're gonna see if we can get him under this bridge. Which yeah. is over here. There's a guy in a scooter. Is that him? No, it's a woman. I see him. They just saw me from like two blocks away. I'm using these long legs. I'm hoping I can find a scooter. All right, I saw him literally see us and turn around. Yeah, on the right side, going that way. He was coming towards us and turn around and went that way. He must have gone in a shop or... That's a real dangerous move. He goes literally in a store, so he must have been done. He was booking it though, man. He was almost bouncing. <gasps> I also just did my second task. I forget what the point total is, but I got two tasks and a location, and I'm feeling good. It's, this is a rush. I think I see a scooter. Let's go!
I just, I'm also trying to just get an eye on him so we can run. Every video, every video I made, I'm like, oh, you can take it, you can run with it if you want. Couple seven. I need to walk. This thing's slower than me walking in the lake. All right, well, you gotta go 12 seven. All right, those guys just caught me. And the reason they caught me is because I picked up a scooter that was on like basically zero battery and I was going slower than I was walking. I'm, I'm going to stand by that. I'm not being a poor sport. Yes, I am. Also, these lazy ass, Europeans, a woman just heard me say that, don't, don't care about time because there's not a single analog clock in this whole goddamn city. First catch. First catch down, let's Fish go baby. Barrel. Let's go, Fish, Fish in a barrel. Alrighty, here I am at the Steuben Bridge. I can't find like a title on it, but that's, that's it. There's like a dirty creek running underneath. Uh, still desperately looking for a couple analog clocks. It looks like he got to Steuben Bridge, maybe, and then is cutting west into the city. Oh, just got hit by a raindrop. Oh, shit, dude. He's booking it. He's like near our apartment. What if he's going back to use the bathroom? Okay. Here we go. Legs are feeling it a little. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Dude, this is motor time. This isn't strategy. This is motor time. We got to get down to the river. Ooh. Right down the river. We have distance to make up. Yeah. That kid has long ass legs. Really long legs. What's your favorite part of playing this game? The camaraderie and the thrill. Yeah, I agree with that. It's very thrilling and it's very camaraderie. Alright, quick update. Just had a nice scoot across town. I need one more analog clock. And this goddamn city has more two headed eagles than they do clocks. Which isn't a euphemism for those of you watching who didn't take the tour yesterday. They're, they're more proud of their history than they are of the current day. What, what time is it? Oh, well, we had to, to a king who was also president. About to go to the Sigmund Freud Museum, if I can find it. Location number three. All right, that's the Sigmund Freud Museum. Feeling good. Feeling very good. I haven't looked to my next location, which was dumb. Location number four coming up next, wherever that may be. All right, see you, fellas. Coming back towards us, but up that way. Look, we need to jump up to a the right. Well, you don't have to yet, I guess. You can see what he does when crossing the street. It looks like he's crossing the road. Why is he going back that way again? <sighs> That's not him on the left. I no. can't see. All right, bad news. Just uh, took off. Basically, he went so far down the river. We're kind of at a loss now, except we're just chasing. I feel like we're uh, we're a bit behind the eight ball. Yeah. Well, do you think we catch Jess again? Yeah. Really? Alrighty. Welcome to Zolomsteg. I don't know what that means because it doesn't say bridge, but I like got here and it said you have arrived. There's like a cool like under over bridge tunnel. Still haven't found a analog clock and also like couldn't park my scooter for a while which was a nightmare because you guys are definitely like prowling and i'm like in i'm just like a, i feel like a deer in the middle of a in the middle of a what's it called um yeah that's four locations boys Woo! this road that we're on straight up brings us right to student bridge so if he turns right into the city now yeah gonna be all right our strategy now so he basically we we followed him up the city we got quite close, like a couple blocks away. He just made a good play. He made a good play. He got to the right, went down the river, and he's just faster because he's on the scoot. And now we're kind of sitting a little more in the middle, generally heading his way. Yeah. We'll have to just see which move he takes. He's still sitting at that corner. He might be collecting stupid bridge. Oh, f he's lost. Why is he? Oh, no. He's moving towards us. Yes. Yep. He, as far as I can tell, is on a road that connects to ours. Okay. Fine, fine. He's coming up. Which side? 
side, but I can't really tell. He's sort of in, in the middle. Yeah, okay, okay. You definitely should wait on the corner. Yeah, he's like in the middle, dude. We could legally send one of us, by the way, I think. Can I go this way? Yeah, like you could leave. And I could chase. No, I'm saying I didn't want to stay here. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am staying. But then you'll see us in that way. Want to just wait till he. Let's just see. He's just. Oh, yeah, I know. He's coming up. 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 There he is. There he is. There he is. Yes! Twelve fifty-five. Well, he just took off. Good tag. <laughs> bye, bye, Jess. Dude, I told you we get him again. <laughs> Your face just got so big in the oh, camera. Oh, sorry. All right, I have six minutes to get to the Garden Palace, and I just stopped to get. The fast food, I don't, my knee is killing me because I've been like speed walking since nice. I got a, a like weird, it is called like, a German no doubt donut. I don't know if they have this at McCafe, but I got it at McCafe. I, I, they don't have German no doubt at McCafe, McCafe. So I'm eating this for my points. Hopefully can get to the Garden Palace in the next six minutes. Okay, if you can't tell already, Jess thinks he has six minutes left in his whole round because he heard us yell 12.55 and misunderstood. He has 26 minutes. He has until 1.15, of course. He's supposed to know that, so let's all laugh at him until he realizes it. I think it's like a four-minute walk away. So I'm going to make a wrong turn, and then uh, maybe I do like a weird activity. i got to do a random dumb bye, bye bye This is a nice long 15 minutes we're having here. We think that if Jess is a good player, he literally jumps in the river and swims away. If he's a fun player, he's gonna try to get his he comes back and he punches us in the face and keeps running. That would be fun. Update. I realized that I can't get to the Garden Palace, so I'm just looking to buy cigarettes in the next four minutes. I'm like running around crazy being like, looking for cigs. It's like, it feels like the real thing. Um, at least all cigs around here. There's a pop into a store and ask. Like a gourmet market. I think I'm in a fancy part of town too. Like I'm not gonna find a bodega. All right. Guys, it's like hard to understate how devastating the mental error is that I just made. When you guys just caught me 15 minutes ago, Lars just, Lars said like, you have till, uh, you have till, 54 completely forgot that obviously I started at 11.15. So I was just like, oh shit, I gotta do the task by 11.44. Completely forgetting that like, I know I, I have to live it before so you start chasing me. <laughs> it's just, dude, like, if I had to do this for more than two hours, it would drive me insane. Like I would, I would lose my mind. I, everything is fraught and intense. The thrill is, is just so addictive, but also like, Terrifying. It's like watching a scary movie, but like real life. I have to buy a pack of cigarettes and I have to get to the palace gardens. I have more, I have 20 minutes so I can get to the palace gardens, which is huge. And I'll grab a pack of cigs. Maybe I'll smoke them because that would take the edge off, maybe. If this drives me to cigs, like that would be such a hilarious thing. No, I'm not actually gonna smoke the cigs, but I think there's like an additional part of the task. Like I have to give one to a stranger, which like. I don't even know like what that is. This looks to be like the last, <laughs> the last real attempt Wait, here. Wait, why is your phone so much better than mine? Oh, well, you're in cinematic mode. Yeah, I know, of course. God damn. Here we are in beautiful downtown Vienna, the old city with a big red ball. Let's do it. I swear, I think he's coming this way. You think he's gonna go that way? Ryan yeah. wants to make a, so a southward. Look, he's like he is. All right, let's do it. it. We gotta go south and then continue west. Here's the problem we're in, okay? We don't have enough time. Like, we're, we're unlikely to catch him. Our best bet is to obviously get him, like, coming back towards us. If he keeps playing the game, I think we could maybe catch him If he just sits again. there, we can't catch him. We, he hasn't so, done anything in the center south of the city. We're gonna, like, hope that he's gonna think, okay, I'm up here. Ooh, it's been 15 minutes. They're coming this way. I'm gonna scoot around, and, like, we'll get him on that. Yeah. Nice shot of the horses. And uh, we'll give it our best go. 
I got my SIGs, I got a pack of SIGs, and I'm walking backwards for the next two minutes. I don't think I'm gonna video it all because like it's a lot to handle. I'm also just on like the busiest street possible. And like there are just people who are already looking at me because I was like, I ran into like three stores walking fast. And so like they saw me go into a store and then like bolt out and then go to the next store and ask for cigarettes. And finally I found one, like the sketchiest like bodega. Like there was such a huge selection. I'm gonna turn onto the side street so I don't look like a weirdo. And now I just gotta like find someone smoking a cigarette so I can, I guess, <laughs> those guys are like, who the f is this stupid American doing? I also just keep like faking different accents so I, we don't make America look bad. Okay, there are people smoking six, right? Go and like ask them to light it. They're like talking to each other. I'm gonna try and get a video of me getting my cig lit. Oh my God, <laughs> look what I'm about to walk down. It's just double backs. I'm gonna break my legs. I don't know what time it is because the camera doesn't show me the time. So I got my SIGs, walking backwards. I'm hoping you guys aren't like on my tail because this is like slowing me down significantly. Usually I'm a good backwards walker, but not now. All right, five more seconds of walking backwards. And then we get to the Garden Palace and then you'll be saved. Je where Jess is now is a 17 minute walk and we only have now 14 minutes left in the game. And I really think that was demoralizing when we chased him all the way up yeah. Vienna and he just beep. The locations are random. So when he goes past a location, he's not necessarily tagging it off. In my mind, he, when he was like up there, you know, he yeah, doesn't have like a reason to go down. back up there. At least it's beautiful. We, we're gonna secretly get a sausage. Jeff has no idea. He's like, like speed walking through the streets. <laughs> I just had some guy like hold, take a picture of me holding the red balls and it was like the most delightful human interaction. Like that's what this game is all about, baby. I'm like on such a high, the sun is shining. I've got 10 minutes, I'm like a block away from the garden palace. I feel like a king. That guy was like, oh, a little up, hands up, little left, perfect. One, two, it was like, I, I was ready to hug him, but I, you know, I wasn't do it, I didn't do that. I asked the guys like, and he said glue band, he goes, nine euro. It's like, what? It says four. And he goes, ah, you give the thing back, you get your money back. This is good, I wish it was doing it. Here's the garden palace, the entrance to the garden palace. So honestly, like, it looks really beautiful. But yeah, beautiful place, beautiful people. Beautiful times, beautiful game. The cabs are blasting. Turns out speed walking, especially when you're not just like, while walking quickly, you're walking with this, this tension of like, I need to be moving faster than another man. It really does take it out of you. Alright. I have seven minutes to play. I draw a selfie with a horse. I, I, there, I haven't seen a horse since I've been the runner, the, you know. I just can't get caught right now. So I don't know like what I should do. I don't know where you're coming from. I have seven minutes. Do I try to actively to find a, oh. Oh, can you, can you, can you do it? I want to, I want to. Uh, it's windy. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe you'll find someone. Yeah, exactly. You Thank you. I don't know if that counts, but. You know, I'll just keep trying. He was so friendly. He literally like, put his backpack in like a puddle to dig for his lighter. The trajectory of my mood and my feeling towards the Austrian people has skyrocketed. It was rainy and I was grouchy. And then like I hit a few locations, got a few tasks. You have a light? I, I, I want to take a picture too. Do you have a light? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, yeah, you got it, it's okay. I'll I'll work it. Okay. <coughs> I think I choked it down. There's a burn mark. I'm gonna put that in the trash. No cigarettes for me. Hey man, well played.
Well, that's the end of episode two. So how did our friend Jess do? Well, he clearly was having some sort of spiritual journey across the city, ultimately making peace with Austria, making best friends with the Viennese. Well, if you remember from last episode, I got caught three times, only got three locations, ended up with negative 18 points. Not too strong a showing. Jess only getting caught twice, but using his scooter a lot more effectively after all the scooter deductions ended up with positive one. Very impressive showing. Great job, Jess. But it's all going to come down to what Lars is able to do in the next episode. It comes down to the wire. By this point in the afternoon, Lars knows the strategies. We know the strategies. It gets intense, and you truly won't want to miss it. Here's a haiku about the brick wall behind me. Oh, brick wall, brick wall. You are so perfect today. My love, the brick wall. <laughs>